Connecting the four different parts of the fad. 1. Surface marker to flotation system. Connect the surface marker rope and the top eye loop of the flotation system with a double sheet band knot. Whip the tag ends. The two parts are now connected. Two. Flotation system to mooring road. If using multi-strand ropes, directly connect the bottom end of the flotation system and the top end of the sinking rope with a double sheet band around a spliced eye loop or a monofilament carrick band or a splice. If three strand ropes are used, then add a swivel between the bottom end of the flotation system and the top end of the mooring line. Here, the swivel has already been added to the bottom end of the flotation system. The same operation needs to be done at the top end of the mooring line. But how? Pass the end of the mooring line through a protective sheath. and whip twine around the mooring line where the polypipe sheath ends. Then pass the mooring line through the eye of the swivel It is then spliced The ice splice is tightly secured with whipping. The two parts are now connected. Three, mooring road to anchor chain. First step, add a swivel to the bottom end of the mooring road. It is exactly the same operation done at the top end of the mooring line. Only when the boat has reached the deployment site and the fad is about to be deployed, connect the shackle between the top end of the anchor system chain and the swivel at the bottom end of the mooring line. Firmly tighten the shackle pin and secure it with one or two cable tires and whipping twine. Pile the chain leading to the Danforth anchor on top of the cement block with a Danforth anchor on top of the pile of chain. Tightly secure the system to the boat. And that's it. <music> <music>